The fields are empty, the trees are bare, and a season that almost never was is now in the books. Hi everyone, I'm Ted Brennan and welcome to this DAF Media Special as we wrap up the Fall 2020 Blue Wave Sports season. Because of the COVID-19 pandemic, it was a season unlike any other, but games were played, champions were crowned, and memories were made. The boys cross country team had a great season finishing undefeated in their region. Thanks to two top five finishers, including Lucas Madriaga, who placed third, the Blue Wave won the FCAC West championship meet. We didn't have meets and that was beneficial to us because we could train as hard as we could and arrive into our first meet looking like a full, like we, we've had a half a season under our belt. So. I, I think COVID played to our advantage this year. The girls' soccer team was a force to be reckoned with, finishing 10-0-0 in the FCAC West, earning them a regular season title and a top seed in the regional tournament. They made it all the way to the finals, where they lost a heartbreaker to rival New Canaan, a team they beat three times during the regular season. We just were really grateful that we were able to have something, since um, we don't know what's happening with the winter sports and obviously the spring. It's in, a, it's in a far advance, but we never know what's going to happen with that, so we're just grateful we got something. I was really proud of our team. We worked really hard um, in the beginning during our preseason. Everyone really put in the work, and I think it really paid off. Um, we had good team chemistry this year, which I think really helped us, and overall we were really happy with the outcome. I think one thing that we learned as a team was we just need to take it day by day. Uh, like if we got a game canceled here and there, we just had to learn how to adapt and come out stronger when we finally got to get back on the field. It felt amazing to go 10 and 0. That was like one of our first goals of the season, just like beat because we know we weren't we weren't able to play like every team we wanted to play. So we were like, given any game we have, like we just wanted to beat them, and we were able to do that, and that was really awesome. Coming off an FCAC championship in 2019, it was another fantastic season for the Blue Wave girls swim and dive team. They bested everyone on their schedule except for Greenwich, who won the regional championship. The Wave, however, once again proved why it's a perennial power in the pool. Given the season, I think we did pretty well. We started off with shorter practices, which is a huge adjustment for everyone. And we just wanted to give it our best shot throughout the entire season. I think we managed to have just a really strong season and we had some great team chemistry that really worked to help us have some great successful meets and just bond as a team, even though it was different. I think I've kind of said this to the team, but one of the major things I took away was like looking back and reflecting on, upon all the great successes the team has had over the past four years, which has been super fun. The field hockey team began their season with a tough overtime loss at home, but rebounded nicely, finishing the season 9-2-0. Playing well behind their seniors, the Wave earned the one seed going into the postseason. Darian faced the familiar foe, those pesky Cardinals, but lost in the regional semifinals. The girls volleyball team finished the regular season 7-3-0, earning the Wave the two seed in the regional tournament. They beat West Hill in the semifinals before losing a tough five-set match to Greenwich in the finals. The boys' soccer team was undefeated through its first four games of the regular season, hit a bit of a rough patch, but rebounded to earn the two seed in the regional tournament. Despite a tough loss to West Hill in the regional semifinals, the future looks bright with a number of talented underclassmen who played key minutes this season. As for the girls' cross-country team, they had a solid year going 4-1 at regular season meets. The Blue Wave finished second at regionals with two runners placing in the top five. That'll do it for this DAF Media Special. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Ted Brennan. Stay safe, wear a mask, and have a wonderful holiday weekend.